there is an opioid epidemic in the United Kingdom, just as in the United States. Opioid prescribing in the UK more than doubled from 1998 to 2018. There is little evidence that opioids like morphine, codeine or tramadol are helpful for long-term or chronic pain. Despite this, they are still widely prescribed for this very reason. Why is this a problem? And how can you change this? There is now clear guidance from NICE, the National Institute of Clinical Excellence in the UK, that opioids, although good in acute and cancer pain, should not be used in chronic pain and that there are harms that are associated with long-term opioid use, such as addiction and death through overdose, deliberate or accidental. Opioids are not indicated in the three most common pain conditions, headaches, back pain, and chronic widespread pain or fibromyalgia. Many doctors, including myself, have been guilty of prescribing opioids for these conditions. We know that repeated use of opioids for non-cancer pain may cause dependence or addiction, tolerance, needing more to control the same amount of pain, or opioid-induced hyperalgesia, actually making pain worse. How can we reduce the prescribing of opioids and result in fewer complications like death, addiction, and withdrawal side effects? A family practice in Radcliffe, near Manchester, managed to reduce their prescribing by half between 2016 and 2021, and ascribed a secret to reducing options to only evidence-based treatments for chronic pain. In other words, they did not offer opioids as a default option to patients with non-cancer chronic pain. Yes, it is as simple as not offering the medication as a default. As a default, do not offer opioids. NICE recommends using effective evidence-based strategies before oral medication for chronic pain. This excludes acute pain, terminal care, and cancer pain. These strategies include exercise, psychological therapies including CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and ACT, acceptance and commitment therapy, as well as alternative approaches like acupuncture. This is all in addition to listening and understanding how the person's pain affects their life and how their life impacts on the pain and helping understand this relationship. If a prescription is required, NICE recommends considering antidepressants in all adults with chronic pain. My practice involves the use of acupuncture integrated into routine 10 to 15 minute GP appointments to address painful conditions and this results in the lowest rate of opioid prescribing of my practice compared to all neighboring practices. It works and patients like it. What happens when doctors prescribe less opioids, fewer consultations, no increased pain, fewer problems with long-term drug dependence or addiction, and an overall reduction in workload. Can you name other integrative techniques you use? What are your prescribing patterns like? You can compare these on openprescribing.net if you are in the UK.